Hello guys, this is me again and today I have an important update regarding COVID. So by now you might have noticed that I don't look 100% okay. That's cause I'm not. So what have happened is that uh, my dad, he tested for COVID and he got his result positive on 25th. Then after that I tested myself on 28th uh, and I came back negative. I did test along with my mom. She got positive uh, and I'm negative for COVID. But um, I still have symptoms. Um, so by now you have, might have noticed that I don't look 100% of me. And it's because I'm not. Uh, my parents got tested positive for the COVID-19 and I tested negative but uh, thing is I still have symptoms I don't know we did PCR test and my parents were positive in it and I am negative but uh, the day I received PCR test as negative uh, that was on 30th uh, then after that i started getting symptoms on the same day and it's not psychological i know that for a fact uh what's my symptoms are i have mild fever 99.5 and uh, that i got initially then uh bad really bad headache and shortness of breath as you might have noticed uh, my oxygen levels are 92 my pulse rate is 125 which is not good um, I, it's like i have shortness of breath and i am lacking oxygen but i'm not panicking i'm not panicking because i'm a young adult uh, and in almost very good shape so i don't think i'm in I I really don't think that COVID can do much harm for me. But as a precautionary measure, I'm taking medicines what my doctor have recommended. So <coughs> excuse me. So what he have prescribed is sub antibiotics, uh, which I can name obviously on a YouTube video, of course. I can recommend that and second he gave me some um, that I can name paracetamol and uh, other than that uh, he prescribed me some multivitamins so it's a very good combinations of medications he gave me only for like three days so He's expecting that I might recover on in three days. So uh, yeah. So my parents' symptoms were uh, much more severe than me initially, but my dad he slowly recovered, and my mom doctor told her to get an X-ray, and she did. She got the result, and it was like she have some severe infection in her chest and uh, which might be curable but she have to take two antibiotics for that so the are break for her me i don't know what's my status i don't know status of my lungs all i know is i have shortness of breath so i i might as well have i might as well have some infection in lungs listen guys we all know that <coughs> that almost all indians are struggling with covid today i mean not all but let's say many of indians are struggling with covid uh there are some in my neighbors they have symptoms but they haven't tested yet and there are a lot more in my relatives that are already corona positive some are real some are active so um thing is situation is really bad uh, about
about COVID, this pandemic is spreading like a wildfire here. And uh, uh, you can pray for me and my parents and I'll take every prayer that coming my way. Uh, I'm gonna update you again because I'm gonna do the PCR test of COVID again. Uh, and let's see if I come back positive. And it would be very strange if uh, I came back negative still because it's like, uh, it's unbelievable if I'm not positive for Corona in PCR test and yet have symptoms. Uh, I'm sorry, I have to make video in parts due to my shortness of breath and yeah, uh, I have to tell you that uh, what I'm doing to cope with symptoms of COVID and to minimize its effect on my body. First of all, we have to keep in view that I am 30-year-old male and uh, I'm in good shape. So what I'm saying does not apply for everyone and some might get more affected, uh, some might get less affected. Look, my one cousin who is 28 year old and I think he's more healthy even than me and he have bad fever, he have fever more than 102 and he have been prescribed multiple antibiotics. I'm doing better but then I have to tell you what I'm doing. Uh, what I'm doing, I'm taking fresh fruits. Now, this might seem like a particular uh, old tales, like eat fresh fruit, drink a lot of water, but trust me, they work. So what I'm doing is uh, I'm eating fresh fruits. Uh, I'm eating uh, coconut juice. It works as, as an electrolyte and has very good antimicrobial in our body. So that I'm taking and uh, what I'm also taking is uh, vitamin C capsules uh, that might increase my immune system. I'm taking all this as secondary treatment. Primary treatment is still medicine that my doctor prescribed and I already told you what it consists of so that and besides that I'm taking a lot of rest and yeah uh, it's very hot here in India right now. Uh, temperature can go even more than 40. So what I'm doing is uh, I'm sleeping without air conditioner still. I I know it might sound like stupidity that I don't uh, use any air conditioner, but what I've experienced is that air conditioner makes my symptom worse, especially my throat and fever I think so I have to stop using it uh, what I'm doing instead is I'm opening all my door and windows and using fan on high speed so that helps a little uh, and one stream steam is I can't stress enough how much important it is for your body to take steam, especially in early stages of COVID. When you, when you have sore throat, when you have blockage in nasal passage, you sh should take steam. Uh, I'm not saying take it without doctor's advice, but please take it. Ask your doctor, he might or might not prescribe it. Um, depending on your symptoms, but in general, doc says that you should get a steam, especially in early stages of COVID. What I do, it clears your nasal passage and throat so that your symptom doesn't progress that much. Um, people are saying it might as well kill uh, coronavirus while it's still in your throat, but we don't have any proof for it, but it certainly helps. It helped me to take steam, so yeah. Uh, and besides that, uh, please keep monitoring. So please keep monitoring your temperature and bring an oximeter 
which uh, measures your oxygen levels. Uh, if your oxygen level is below 90, you should uh, you should try to get oxygen for you. Because once it start dropping, I'm not creating a panic here. I would like to mention, but in most many cases, once uh, the oxygen start dropping, it's not a good sign for you. Uh, so please, uh, guys, I want to tell you one thing. Uh, this situation of COVID is not good. Uh, I'm not panicking and I'm very strong guy so let's see thing is uh, I don't know how to say it but um, just pray for me and my family uh, we'll take every prayer that have coming us our way and I'm gonna do a PCR test again and I'll tell you if I still test positive or I'm negative this time <laughs> excuse me so <coughs> so uh, so I'm going to do the PCR test again in some days. So let's see if I'm still, I'm still positive or negative. I want to tell you the results that time. Uh, till then, please pray for me and my family. Uh, we will accept every prayer coming our way. And uh, please keep safe. And here's please keep safe for yourself and do it for your family. Have good luck. Thank you. I'm sorry for the quality of my video, and it's cause uh, um, I can do a proper setup while I'm sick, and I have shortness of breath, so I'm really sorry for bad quality of video. And that's all. Thank you very much.